Lots of guys have been up to her, but she told them she was waiting for the one that the God was sent to fulfill a kind of craving, a special kind of loving, one with lot of understanding. Come on, ring, come shining. People started to say that she wanted more than a And I felt welcome from moment one. I, I could feel the heartbeat uh, of the country and the heartbeat come from the people. Nigerian people are the best, the richest resources that Nigeria as a very rich nation already has. Nigeria is rich of oil, is rich of gas, is rich of mineral resources. It reaches, is rich in agriculture if he only invested in it. Yet human resources, the people, are the best asset. And that I could feel from moment one, from the moment in which I arrived. I never felt fear. I, I never understood when people were telling me that I had to be, well, why, I mean, why are you living there? Why are you choosing to stay there? You know, I never really understood why they were fearing uh, Nigeria because I never had any reasons to fear. Yes, I mean, there, there are probably, you know, like situations in an urban life, like I live in Lagos, 15 million people, chances are that something might go wrong. Chances are that something goes wrong in Verona with 250,000 or 300,000 people. So what I'm saying is like, my experience has been positive all along. And sometimes I feel that if you approach an environment and a new environment with a, with a positive outlook and with a, a, with openness chances are that openness will come back to you and good things will come back to you my experience i i enter nigeria with an open heart and i haven't stopped receiving it's a very generous place from a human perspective and is an amazing place in terms of opportunities. It's a market of 150 million people which are pretty much unserved in most of the sectors, unfortunately, because oil and gas has made people lazy. And when I say people, I don't mean the Nigerians, I mean the policy makers. <laughs> I felt that uh, the entertainment business is indeed a very viable one in Nigeria and in Africa. Um, Africans are um, natural consumers of entertainer, entertainment. Uh, they are natural storytellers and uh, amazingly talented artists. So the market is all there. Uh, so it was just a matter of uh, putting some numbers together in order to uh, make investors realize uh, the potential that the entertainment industry has. Uh, so in order to convince investors to shift some of their resources from the more traditional sectors like oil and gas and uh, for example real estate which are major in uh, Nigeria, uh, we had to prove that these are viable, that entertainment is indeed viable together with two friends who shared with me the love for Nigeria. Uh, we set up a communication agency and uh, the purpose of the communication agency was to share with Nigeria and quite frankly the rest of the world the beautiful things and the talents that were worth celebrating from the, from the country. We initially started with the economy and then we moved to entertainment as actually as, a, as an investment sector. And um, we looked at film. Film was an example of success in Nigeria. Nigeria is the second biggest producer of films in the world. Yet the world hardly knows about the existence of the Nigeria film industry. So we felt that communicating to the world and finding platforms where these kind of examples could be celebrated would be a way of counterbalancing the wave of negative news coming out of Nigeria and Africa and also to refocus the attention of Nigerians, of investors, but also of the creative industry into what works. 
So we focused on films. We went to um, Los Angeles and pitched a touring film festival called ION, uh, ION International, and we convinced them to produce the ION Film Festival in Nigeria for the sixth edition in 2009. And it was bombastic, it was amazing. We had Hollywood, we had Bollywood, we had the independent European films, we had the independent African films, everybody conveying in Nigeria to celebrate filmmaking and frankly to zoom the lens on the talent of the Nigeria film industry. The purpose is really to get investors to see entertainment and film as a viable industry. With film you can educate, you can inspire, you can tell your own story, you can employ and you can make money. You can target five of these, I don't know how many you know, industry you can say that you can have such multiple objectives, yet creative industries can do it. And Nigeria has proved that it is viable already. Nollywood has been producing a thousand films a year, making money. Nollywood is viable, it's proved to be viable, it's proved that films that are, that cost 15 to 20,000 euros can recoup and even triple the returns in two and a half months time from the conce like from conceiving the project to the distribution point. So in two and a half months you're making like 200 or 300 percent out of your investment. Nollywood has proved that making films is profitable. Quality is definitely an issue in uh, Nollywood um, and some people say it's an issue of resources as in financial resources. I would argue that you can have a lot more mileage for the resources that are put right now in Nollywood. I think it's very much an issue of capacity as in like technical capacity is an issue of motivation as well. What kind of story do you want to tell? And perhaps of patience as well. If you're not too much in a hurry to recoup your investment, you can invest more in the quality of the story you are about to tell, and perhaps also in the quality of the finishing of your film, and therefore in the post-production. There are Nollywood filmmakers, directors today, that are driven by the message. For example, Jet Amata. Jet Amata only produces and directs films that have got a very strong, socially relevant message. Now, his drive is to tell something to his own people and to get that message across to other parts of the world. So he's driven by that, and in order to reach the rest of the world, he invests in quality production. There are other filmmakers that are interested in culture. So they are interested, for example, and in making people understand the beauty and the, the depth of the local traditions and beliefs. Or even like the, the director of Figurin, Kulia Folayan. You are Kulia Folayan. They are both investing in the local story as well as in the quality of the film so that the film is actually watched and it can go and tap into the circuits of international festivals. The more the film is watched, the more people will learn about your culture and will pick your message. If your quality is too low, then the message is only restricted to the clients that can afford to buy your product. Ale, 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 Ale. What I'm doing right now is uh, to prove that there is a viable um, model to invest in film and I'm proving it by producing a film, a Nigeria, a Nigeria inspired universal story which will be directed by a Nigerian uh, filmmaker, my Nigerian director. Uh, it's going to be acted primarily 
by Nigerian actors, even though uh, being a universal story, it also has uh, uh, some international actors. We really wanted to get uh, uh, appeal for uh, both the African market and the non-African market. And uh, we want to prove that the box office in Africa can recoup the cost of the film. And we want to prove that the quality of the film uh, does not uh, uh, require huge kind of investments. So you can achieve great quality and excellence. We are hearing like numbers like $5 million film, $10 million films. We think that you can improve the quality of the existing Nollywood production by a much more modest kind of investment that can be absorbed and recouped directly in the local market. And I'm also working on a film that is called Ghetto Red Hot, and that's a ghetto story. This one is set in Lagos, in Ajegunle, and wants to showcase the uh, talent of, uh, the music talent of Nigeria. Uh, I believe that uh, mm, Nigeria is second to no one uh, in terms of music. I talent. like it. I like it. I believe that the greatest success of Nollywood is that it has told its own stories. But also, it has proved that it can tell its own story by not losing money which is also important because it makes the industry and the business sustainable so you can tell more stories.